Hey there, good morning, brother. This is Steve Horseman here to make a quick video for you about something we talk about a lot at the ranch retreats. Sometimes being heavy handed as opposed to being light handed makes all the difference in the world on how you build trust, how you build safety, how you build connection and intimacy. At the retreat, we talk about building connection and intimacy with your horse. I'm here with my blind horse, my 30 year old buddy named Chief. He has uh, been blind for the last five years. He has every right to be scared. The wind is blowing, it's colder than hell. He doesn't know why I have him cooped up here in the stall with his halter on because we don't do this a lot. So I just put the halter on him. And one thing I wanna tell you about is how to be light handed when you're asking for something. At the ranch retreat, we talk about doing the smallest, lightest, most insignificant request to get what you want. The problem with men and husbands in general sometimes, and I know this from experience, is that we can be aggressive, we can be domineering, we can be disappointed, we can be urgent, we can be impatient, we can start yanking on ropes trying to get people to do what we want. The way that we ask for things, the way that we respond to things, the way we react to things can come across as being incredibly unsafe, incredibly scary. Now, Chief has every reason to be scared right now. He's getting a little, little bug-eyed. You just heard that. He's relaxing. And I'm going to demonstrate something for you that we do at the ranch retreat that if you come to this, you'll get to do with your own horse that will be assigned to you. So Chief is going to help me show you what it means to do the smallest amount possible to be light-handed instead of heavy-handed. It's very important that in every aspect of your relationship, you know the difference between being a man who is light-handed, light-hearted, light-mooded, but also light in the way you approach and ask for things and respond to things. Most horses don't like having the rope pulled. I'm gonna, well, what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how to ask a horse to lower its head down, to calm down, maybe even to lower his, his nose all the way down to the ground. I'm gonna ask Chief that. Now I can try to ask him by taking this rope and yanking it down. He wants to go outside more than anything, but I'm gonna ask for his attention in a second. I'm gonna lightly ask for him to pay attention to me. And I'm gonna lightly ask him to lower his head down to the ground. And it's gonna be almost no pressure at all. And that's the key. So I'm gonna ask him to back up. Light, lightly back up, lightly back up. Perfect. Now I'm gonna ask him, <laughs> he already knows what I'm gonna do. Anyway, Chiefy. So I'm gonna ask him to lower his head. A little bit of pressure, just the slightest bit of ask. And see if, oh, there he goes. A little bit more ask, a little bit more. And he's already down on the ground. No, I'm not giving him a treat. He's just licking my hand. I'm going to ask him to go a little bit lower. A little bit lower, buddy. There he goes. You can't feel the pressure on that rope, but I was using these two fingers. I was barely asking him to lower his head. That light-handed pressure, the respectful, safe, playful, confident request that I made to put his head toward the ground is what made him feel safe in complying. Now, recently I heard a guy who's been asking his wife to go to breakfast or go to dinner with him and she keeps saying no. He's getting more and more agitated because she keeps saying no. Every time he asked her, it's with more disappointment, more annoyance, more urgency that she won't go to dinner with him. And the more he yanks on that rope of trying to get her to go to dinner, the more she's gonna pull back. Just like a horse always resists pressure. So there has to be a light-hearted and a light-mooded and a light-handed way of dealing with what you want in your life. If it's trust and safety and intimacy, you have to learn how to be light-handed and light-hearted about it. If you wanna learn more about this stuff, why don't you check out the Ranch Retreat link below this video and see if you might attend one in May or October and we can talk more about it and you'll get your own horse to play with. Thanks, brother, take care.